Magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Welcome to Bread of Life Jensen Sunday Online Streaming. We'd like to welcome you, uh, lahat po ng sumusubaybay sa atin sa buong Pilipinas and also uh, the rest of the world. We would like to request you to please indicate uh, from where you are watching. Again, inviting you to follow and like our Facebook page. And also, we would encourage you to post uh, a prayer concern or uh, some stories that you would like to share with us. And siyempre, sa ngayon po, as we are uh, watching, hindi po tayo makasulat ng ating mga prayer concerns. So, we would really uh, invite you to join so that we can really connect with you and, and pray for your concerns. Again, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bread of Life Jensen. You'll be able to watch our previous um, uh, messages po. And we would highly appreciate if you could write down some comments along the way as you're listening, say an amen or write an amen or uh, a little a little comment uh, about what you're learning so far. So we appreciate po para nagkakaroon po tayo ng parang nagkaka-engage po tayo sa isa't isa. Okay, so let me start by showing you a video clip of a, of a woman uh, who got divorced and the struggle you know, to break through sa kanyang being a single parent. Let's watch. I was divorced two years ago and becoming a single mom was really, really difficult in a lot of ways. I, I don't think people realize um, how lonely it feels, juggling everything. You definitely feel different in public, I think, especially whether it's school events or just walking around the grocery store or at church. You feel different and it's a very lonely feeling. You don't feel like you're enough. You think, I've failed my kids, I have failed my parents, my family, uh, maybe I've even failed God. And it's just sort of a dark space that you're in and you're walking through. It kind of just keeps going on and on. You wonder like, when is the light gonna break through? I remember uh, <clears throat> a specific day, I was taking a friend to the airport and it was raining and I was already feeling really scared about my future and nervous about what's to come. And I turned a corner and there was this beautiful rainbow in the sky. It was so vibrant and it was just so beautiful. And as I looked at it, I remember feeling just really calm and very peaceful. And in those moments, sort of recognizing that peace. So I started to search out the meaning of rainbows and found out that they mean peace and prosperity and it's kind of God's little message to me in that moment especially. So even to this day my son draws rainbows on like all of his schoolwork and every time I see it it reminds me that no matter you know how fearful I might be of the future I don't really know what life is going to look like or when I do feel lonely, peace comes and the rainbows come. And there have been those moments when it's almost like, uh, you know, I'll say a little prayer in my mind or something and the day just gets a little easier or I'll feel a little more supported. It's just a feeling that I get, but I know that he's there and he's helping me, he's working with me. <laughs> So, this is my life. <laughs> this is, is what single yet? parenting is. Not yet. Well. <laughs> please check someone that I just want to I'm never to getting a moment alone. <laughs> yeah, I will. Can you give me a kiss? Thank you. Gabi, ang kanyang tanong, ano, when is the light going to break through? Kailan ba? Kailan ba ako makakalusot you know, after the divorce? Siyempre, bouts of loneliness and 
responsibilities of taking her kids, uh, taking good care of her kids. Siyempre, dami niyang gustong magawa, kaya lang parang feeling niya, parang failure siya, parang dark space nga, no? was, uh, as she was walking through, parang walang katapusan na, parang kadiliman na dark na ito pong space na to. And so, yun po ang nakapagpa, kumbaga na, na deal sa kanya, kumbaga ay nakapag-release sa kanya, ay ang isa pong uh, rainbow na nakita niya. And looking at the meaning of a beautiful rainbow, nakita niya, it's about peace, about prosperity. And so somehow, nabungayan po siya. Although hindi niya alam exactly what will, what the future holds, ano, but she was able to find peace in that stressful moment. Kaya nga, if we could probably give an insight here, ano, that our struggles are real, totoo ang ating mga struggles sa buhay, but God's grace gives us the strength ano, to move forward with peace in our hearts. I've been reading a book entitled, or almost finished po itong libro, The Way of the Warrior, by Erwin, Erwin Raphael McManus. Ang subtitle niya ay An Ancient Path to Inner Peace. And as I was reading it, I, I felt like maganda ito mapag-aralan, uh, itong uh, uh, book na ito. Um, so many principles in life that we can learn ano, uh, as we uh, kumbaga, apply the lessons na kanya natutukan dito. And so we will be starting a series today, no, which I copied ano, yung title po, binaro ko na, kumbaga, hiniram ko yung title ng kanyang book. I'd like to entitle na rin itong message na to, The Way of the Warrior. And Raphael McManus started with with sharing about he was driving through Los Angeles one time and sabi niya, I suddenly heard a voice inside my head whispering a thought that I had never occurred to me. So, and I share po niya, ito po, makita niyo, ito po yung thought na pumasok sa kanya, the warrior is not ready for battle until they have come to know peace. This is the way of the warrior. Continuing, he wrote, The words were not without personality. Merong, merong concept yan. It was as if, somehow, uh, I dropped into an ancient time. Parang nanumbalik sa kanya na nakaraan. I could see the warrior's face and every wrinkle that defined a lifetime of both struggle and wisdom. In that moment, I had been transplanted to 16th century Japan and was listening to the counsel of an ancient samurai trying to teach his young apprentice the difference between the way of violence and the way of the warrior. No, yun yung concept po ng, ng martial arts, ng samurai ng Japan. No, it is easy enough for me to understand some of the experiences that had informed this moment in my imagination Probably kasi dahil yung kanyang favorite film niya ay entitled Seven Samurai, written and, and directed by a Japanese named Akira Kurosawa. The movie is set in 16th century Japan where farmers from a small village were are being oppressed by a band of roving bandits. May mga bandido. Ina inopres sila, dinanakawan, kinukuha yung mga harvest nila what ano. And it's a story about one how one retired na no, samurai long past his prime gathered together six other samurai to help him defend the poor village. So, maganda po, tinignan ko po yung, yung parang uh, synopsis noon, uh, marami pong, kumbaga, nagsasabi na yung Seven Samurai na yan, parang ang dami pong mga palabas na parang hinango po dun sa konsepto na yun. But anyway, na, nagbasa, nakapagpanood pa rin daw si, si Erwin ng iba pang mga pelikula, ng Hero, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and The Last Samurai, at nagkaroon ng impact sa kanya. Sabi niya, each of these stories of those films and you know, wove a heroic narrative within my soul and reminded me that there is a significant difference between violence and honor, between revenge and courage, between the way of war and the way of the warrior. Yung mga pelikula yun, maraming laki na itunong sa kanya. Continuing, we live in a world that seems to be marked and defined by senseless violence. 
We now have a generation whose only impression of human history is an era of global terrorism. Our children can no longer go to school with the assumption of safety, but must live with the imminent threat of a senseless massacre taking place on any given day. No, speaking as an American, na uh, grabe. Alam naman natin maraming story about bigla na lang minamamaril sa mga eskwelahan. Hate seems to be the order of the day. I still struggle to grasp the kind of, of rage, hate, and violence that drives a person to walk into a school with more ammunition than a military specialist and senselessly take innocent lives. Hindi niya maintindihan yan, grabe. Bakit may mga ganong klase tao papatayin ng mga, mga bata na wala namang kinalaman sa kalamang problema? There is seemingly terribly wrong in our world. I, like so many others, long for peace. I would give anything to see the end of violence. So yun ang initial na, na konsepto ni, ni, ni Erwin McManus. Yung insight ng dumating sa kanya about this concept about the way of a warrior. The Personal Journal reported, hindi na ito sa libro, no? This incredible statistic. Since the beginning of a recorded history, the entire world has been at peace less than 8% of the time. In that study, the periodical discovered that of 3,530 years of recorded history, only 286 years saw peace. Moreover, in excess of 80,000 peace treaties were made and broken. Sa ibang mga pag-aaral po, probably parang, parang 3.6 billion ang mga namatay all throughout history in, in, sa mga gera. No? And grabe, no? kung pag-aaralan natin, kon konti lang ang panahon, ang taon na walang gera. Sa ngayon, no? sa kapanahonan natin, parang, di ba, parang kaya ang bilis na bago ang political map kasi ang daming mga gera nangyari for the past uh, uh, probably 40 years isang generasyon grabing ang daming pagbabago nangyari nagkahati-hati ang mga bansa mga civil wars so on and so forth no uh, another japanese martial artist and and founder of aikido si mori morihei you know uh, Ushib, ushiba itong sabi niya the way of the warrior has been misunderstood it is not a means to kill and destroy others. Those who seek to compete and better one another are making a, a terrible mistake. To smash, endure, or destroy is the worst thing a human being can do. The real way of a warrior is to prevent such slaughter. It is the art of peace, the power of love. Kaya nga, di ba sa umpisa, nung sinabi ni, ano, na uh, 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 a warrior can never find true, kumaga, uh, can never be a, a warrior kung hindi niya magkaroon ng kapayapaan uh, sa gitna ng digmaan. Para bang, ang, parang pinagsama niya ang peace at saka battle. And so that is, in a sense, actually the way of the warrior. Hindi ito, hindi ito bugbugan, hindi ito, hindi ito patayan. Hindi ito pagalingan lang. There's something, ano, it's an art of peace, the power of love. Yun ang real concept ng martial arts. Ang totoong konsepto niyan. Uh, continuing, uh, Erwin wrote, I have been asked many times over the, re the years why the Bible depicts God as a God of war. I am always reminded that it is not God who created humanity to live in violence, but rather it is humanity that chooses violence. That is our history. That is our present both as a species and as individuals. We would have a history of even more wars if God did not exist. Kung wala ang Diyos, lalo tayong nagpatayan. No? No? Our past is one of conflict, of division, of greed and power, a constant battle where nation rises up against nation and brother rises up against brother. God is tainted by being part of our story, but the story of God is a story of peace. 
the language of God as a warrior came to exist because he intervened for the defenseless. No? He heard the cries of, of a people battling slavery and came to set them free. So yes, it was a declaration of war, but a declaration of war against injustice, oppression, and inhumanity. Kaya para bang naging God of War siya dahil gusto ng tulungan ng Diyos ang tao oh, out of yung, yung mga pag-aaway na ginawa ng mga tao sa kanya-kanya. Pagpapahirap ng tao sa kanyang kapwa. It would be easy to blame God for what we have created and to question His character because He works to bring peace into our stories rather than manipulating every aspect of the story from the outset. I have become convinced that more than any of us, God understands the war that rages within and around us and that He longs to lead us to the end of violence. Gusto ng Diyos, mabigyan tayo ng kahipayapaan. No? Kaya itong magandang pagkasulat pa ni Erwin, We are people of war because we are a people at war. We are at war within ourselves. We are at war with God if we do not have a personal relationship with God. And because of that, we will be people of war. All the violence we see in the world is but a small glimpse of the violence that churns or that steers in us. This war that rages within us eventually boils over and sets the world on fire. Dahil wala tayong kapayapaan inside, dahil we are at war with ourselves and we are at war with God. No? Kaya nag-spill over sa ibang tao. Kaya tayo hindi maayos ang maayos ay isang relationship natin sa ibang tao kasi tayo at war within and at war with God. It is the war within us that is the focus of the way of the warrior. Kaya, yung kanyang libro, hindi ito about labanan. Hindi ito kung paano mo tatalunin ang kaaway mo. No? Tatalunin mo sila sa ibang kaparaanan. Ito yung, yung war within na natagumpayanan mo, kaya yun ang kaparaanan ng isang warrior. No? Sinulat niya, I choose this imagery because I'm convinced that the only path toward world peace is inner peace. Na peace of God. Kaya there will be no peace in the world. Kahit anong gawin natin, UN, peacekeeping forces, no? kahit anda dyan ng mga UN keep, uh, peacekeeping forces, di ba? Labanan ng labanan, patay ng patay. Wala. Hindi ma so solba. Unless a person, everyone will have that peace in them that comes from God. I am surrounded by an endless number of people, people I love, people I care deeply about, who struggle with inner demons that put them at daily risk. Kaya suicide has become a global epidemic even among the educated and affluent. Those who could, who would seem to have the most reasons to live, cannot even cannot think of even one. Yung mga hindi naman yung mga mangmang hindi man wala pinigaral hindi naman mga mahirap lang ang nagpapakamatay. Yung mga edukado, di ba yung mga tanyag? Alam na natin, dami daming storya na mga celebrities and well-known people who took their lives. Bakit? Nakapayapaan sa loob. Sad. It's sad. Suicide is a sad thing. Huh? Another problem, depression is at an epidemic level and we cannot seem to design medication fast enough, enough to keep us from drowning in um, an abyss that exists within us. Diba? Dami taong depressed. Dami taong laklak ng laklak ng mga medisira para to, to, to overcome that depression in their lives. You know? Otherwise talented, gifted, extraordinary human beings are paralyzed by anxiety and overwhelmed by stress. And a growing number of young men and women who have never gone to war find themselves in a battle with post-traumatic stress disorder. The world is sick. People are sick. 
people don't have that peace that God promised. The sudden outburst of violence that uh, that have marked the history of our children can no longer be seen as an anomaly and must be addressed as a cultural state of emergency. I am tired of losing people I love. No, Maybe I cannot bring peace on earth by writing this book. But if I can bring peace to one person, I will consider my job done. O para kay Erwin McManus, itong libro, yung kanyang libro ang ginawa, no? sana makatulong isa, kahit isang tao makaroon ng kapayapaan no? with God. And I guess, for me, that would be also my desire as we come to a series of messages regarding the way of the warrior, as somehow kayo na nanonood, kayo na nakikinig sa akin ngayon, no, kung hindi nyo pa naranasan ng kapayapaan ng Diyos sa inyong buhay, kaya ka gulong-gulo, nag-worry ka, natataranta ka sa lahat ng nangyayari, di ba, itong pandemic na ito, itong mga sitwasyon na dinadaanan, at hindi pa natin alam kung hanggang kailan matatapos, at maaring lumalala at lalala pa ito. Oh, just like what's happening in Jensen, maraming mga talagang nai-infect ngayon, kaya talagang hindi natin alam. And so, oh, I hope, sana, kung isa man sa inyo na nakikinig ngayon, o in the future, makapakinig ng, ng, ng broadcast na to, as you would share it to others, somehow, would find that peace inside would find that peace in Christ. Kaya, uh, continuing, sinulat ni Erwin, this war must be won one person at a time, one heart at a time, one life at a time. At kung titignan natin, pag naman natin ang, ang buhay ni Jesus, ganaman, gan, that's the way He, he came ano, to bring peace on earth. While others hope he would call out an army inside a rebellion, uh, use his power to topple an empire, eh, Jesus chose a different way. Kaya sa Matthew 26 verses 50 to 55, ito time that they were uh, in the Garden um, of Gethsemane, and alam naman natin yung istorya na, na, uh, na mawis ng dugo sa Jesus, intensity ng prayer, at dumating itong si, si Judas, the traitor, together with mga sundalo, uh, they would be arresting Jesus, di ba? And so, pagkahalit ni, ni, ni Judas kay Jesus, ano, sa verse 50, Jesus replied, Do what you came for, friend. No? Kaibigan pang ang pagtawag niya kay Judas at saka doon sa mga taong aaresto sa kanya. Then the men stepped forward, seized Jesus and arrested him. With that, one of Jesus' companions, that's uh, Peter, reached for his sword, drew it out and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Huh? Oh? Eh, eh, siyempre, ayaw ni, ni Peter na arestuhin ang kanyang ang Panginoon. So, kaya, ma, ano, uh, tinapyas niya ang tenga. Anong sagot ni Jesus? Put your sword back in its place. Jesus uh, said to him, For all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Do you think I cannot call on my father and he will at once put at my disposal more than 12 legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled that say it must happen in this way? In that hour, Jesus said to the crowd, Am I leading a rebellion that you would have me come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I sat in the temple courts teaching and you did not arrest me. Kaya lang, you know, para mafulfill na ang scripture, kaya inaresto si Jesus. Di ba? Notice ang saan tanong ni Jesus, hindi ba ako pwede magpadala at it's my at disposal ko ang 12 legions of angels. Peter, ibang aking kaparaanan ng, ng pagsupo ng, ng oppression ng Roman Empire. Ang aking rebellion ay kakaibang klaseng rebellion. Kumbaga, kung pwedeng tawagin na, na rebellion yung kanyang ginawa. Uh, it is a rebellion that, that would prevail, but it, it will be using grace. And he knew the way is the way to peace. 
He understood the source of all wars. He knew it all began in the human heart. Kasi alam ni Jesus ang, ang nilalaman ng puso ng tao. That's why Jeremiah, no, long time ago, wrote ano, in Jeremiah 17.9, The heart is more deceitful than all else and is desperately sick. Who can understand it? Ha? Ang puso, deceitful. Sa ibang translation, New American Standard yun, ano, sa uh, Holman uh, Christian Study Bible, it is rendered this way, The heart is more deceitful than anything else and incurable. Who can understand it? No, the heart in itself is incurable unless no, God will change the heart. That's why Ezekiel would say, uh, uh, the Spirit of God, sa sinasabi, that I will put my Spirit in you and cause you to walk in my statues. I will change your heart of stone into a heart of flesh. No, ang Diyos ang na, nagbabago ng puso. Kaya it boils down sa anong nilalaman ng puso nito. Kaya tayo no, at war with other people because there is war within us. And if that war within us, yung, yung di natin matanggap yung kapayapaan na yun, no, hindi ko talaga tayo maayos. Kaya nga, maski nga yung mga tao nakatanggap na ng kapayapaan ng Panginoon dahil nananatili naman yung sinful nature sa tao na kahit makilala ng Panginoon, kaya nagkakaroon pa rin ng mga discord along the way. Hindi how much more kung walang, kung walang, 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 uh, kung baga, pangungunan ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Hindi lalo pong gulo-gulo ang buhay natin. No? Kaya, yun po, no? So, do you have any insight? regarding this portion ng ating pag-aaral right now write something no uh, Erwin continued it is the way of Jesus that is the ancient path to inner peace Jesus ang ang kaparaanan ang ang daan ng kapayapaan in choosing to follow him sabi niya personally i have chosen the way of the warrior Every day I find myself at war. Even after all these years, there are battles that rage within me. You know? no, siya na nga. Many years ago, he, he gave, uh, gave up his life to, to God, no? and receiving the peace of God. Pero meron pa rin battle up to now. I am still fighting behind enemy lines. I have known all the enemies of the human spirit. I have known fear and doubt. I have known bitterness and anger. I have known jealousy and greed. They are all too familiar to me. And after many years of walking this ancient path, I have come to know this one truth most certainly. And yun! Oh, ito basahin natin. The world within you will create the world around you. Kaya... Hindi yung coming from the outside, inside, kung yung nas, nilalaman ng puso natin, yun ang lalabas. Kaya nga, di ba, Jesus is saying that, ano, wala lang, hindi ko lang may post sa atin, ano, na, di ba, out of the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Hindi yung kung ano kinakain mo, na nakakasira sa sa'yo, siyempre, physically, pag mali kinakain, makasira. Pero, out of the fullness of the heart, dyan lumalabas ang, ang murder, ang hatred, ang bitterness, and so on and so forth. Dito galing sa puso. Yun ang sinasabi ni Jesus. Naiintindihan ni Jesus yun. Yun ang alam niya. Yung problema natin nandito sa loob. No? Inner peace does not come by accident nor by desire. Inner peace is a journey towards self-mastery. The way of the warrior is a discipline of the soul. It is a journey toward enlightenment and ultimately it is the outcome of a relationship with the creator of the universe. Kaya po, kaya ito ang unang-unang pag-aaral eh. Para mapag-aralan pa natin ibang konsepto ng peace, no? iba-ibang aspects ng, ng peace, ano? itong pinaka-crucial, ito yung unang-una, yung peace with the creator. No? Peace with God. No? Hindi lang peace of God. 
no? Kaya yun yun ang gusto nating ano mapag-aralan unang-una and then later on the other disciplines of the soul no nung kaparaanan the way of the warrior no paano pa natin malalakbay itong kapayapaan na itong marami pang mga disciplines na mapag-aaralan natin no continuing the battle that rages within, within you was never meant to be fought alone and if you feel as if you are one breath from giving up I hope somehow I can convince you that the God who created you is fighting for you. Dinidiin po natin on our own din natin kaya. Kaya ako, kailangan natin ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Inilalaban tayo ng Diyos. Inilalaban tayo ni Jesus. Inilalaban tayo ng Spirito. No? Para po magkaroon tayo talaga ng patuloy na tagumpay sa ating lakbayang sa kasama ang Diyos. Yun po ang ang napakahalagang aspeto nitong the way of the warrior again the way of the war a war the warrior is not about fighting it's about the essence inside of us it is about the life of Christ in us Dwight Lyman Moody wrote a great many people are trying to make peace but that has already been done God has not left it for us to do all we have to do is enter into it Enter into the peace of God by giving our life to God, by giving our all to Jesus and acknowledging, Lord, hindi ko kaya makuha itong kapayapaan na ito. Hinahanap ko oh, through so many ways and means. Akala ko money oh, will give me um, peace. I, I thought possessions or positions or prestige or whatever. Makakala ko yun makapagbigay ng kapayapaan sa akin. San panandalian na pala? Hindi pala siya consistent. Hindi lang pa siya continuous peace. Nasa ilang Panginoon. Kaya, no, kinakailangan tayong pumasok doon. I hope every one of you listening and watching today no, will look at your life and, 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 and see at tingnan po ninyo ang inyong buhay. Kayo po ba'y nakapasok na doon? sa kapayapaan ng Panginoon. I'd like to show you another video clip. Uh, the title is What is a Warrior? by Aubrey Marcus. And he will be sharing with us some concepts about ano ba ang isang warrior. Let's watch the video. A warrior is a way of life, a way of thinking, a way of being. Carlos Castaneda says we choose only once to be warriors or ordinary. We choose only once because choosing to be a warrior alters your fundamental approach to life. While others will view everything as a blessing or a curse, you will see only challenges. And a warrior lives to overcome challenges. Every warrior has a code, an ethos. It is an invisible thread that connects him to all of his warrior brothers and sisters since the beginning of time. Stephen Pressfield asks, how do we find our true calling? our soul companions, our destiny. He answers, in this task, our greatest ally is the warrior ethos. A warrior never hopes, but yet he must have faith. Hope is powerless, useless. The longer we sit in hope, the more time we waste, because the universe gives only what is sought, only what is believed, because at times not every path is clear and not every enemy a fire and dragon. When the forest is dark, the warrior holds his ground with faith, that if he remembers the warrior code, the light to illuminate the darkness will come. For the warrior, the body is as important as the mind, for the two are inseparable. Daniel Bellelli writes, a person who knows there's a wild wolf living under his skin is less likely to be intimidated by reality. When the mind is in doubt, the body provides tangible proof. A warrior is not an ascetic. He does not deny himself the pleasures of conquest simply for the sake of denying them. He realizes that in doing so, it is easy to think he is doing great things when really he is just focused on himself. But neither is he attached to these pleasures. He can walk away from them at any time. Sometimes he does, just to prove it to himself. The warrior is a natural leader, and he leads under one principle, follow me. When Alexander the Great was threatened with mutiny after years of brutal campaigning in India, he stepped forward, stripped off his armor, and challenged his men. 
Bring forth a man who has bled more than me and we will go home. No one stepped forth, because it was Alexander, riding his horse Bucephalus with a double-plumed helmet, leading every charge. His men erupted in cheers and pounded their shields. The warrior is a believer. As Paulo Coelho says, because he believes in miracles, miracles begin to happen. Because he is sure that his thoughts can change his life, his life begins to change. Because he is certain that he will find love, love appears. A warrior is highly tuned to sense danger, but he does not fear. He does not fear because pain is temporary and death an illusion. What is eternal cannot die, and he knows that he will laugh, he will love, and he will fight for all eternity, in this world or some other. If he errs, if he wanders, if he indulges in self-pity, he does not despair. He knows that he is human, and he remembers the choice that he made. He picks his sword back up from the ground and resumes the path of the warrior. A warrior fights for one reason alone, love. Love of life, love of what is good, love of family, love of tribe, and love for his infinite soul on the quest for impeccability. He lets love swell in his heart, flushing through every cell of his being until he can't help but proclaim, like Cyrano de Bergerac, I am going to be a storm, a flame, I need to fight whole armies alone. I have ten hearts. I have a hundred arms. I feel too strong to war with mortals. Bring me giants. Ang ganda na pinakita na concept ni, ni Aubrey about the warrior. What is a warrior? A warrior is a way of life. A way of thinking. A way of being. Now, choosing to be a warrior alters your fundamental approach to life. Pagka... Pagka yung gusto mo yung lakbay ng isang warrior, no, mababago ka eh. Kakaiba. Eh, sabi niya, every warrior has a code, ang ethos. Meron pong code sila, meron pong silang konsepto sa buhay, ang mga warriors. Ano? It is an invisible uh, thread that connects him to all of his warrior brothers and sisters since the beginning of time. No, kaya po, meron silang konsepto. Kaya, for Aubrey, di ba, sabi niya, a warrior must have faith because at times, not every path is clear and not every enemy a fiery dragon. No? Although, parang, maring baka di tayo masyado mag sa kanyang concept that a warrior never hopes. No? But anyway, um, kung lampasan lang natin, no? parang, may ibang aspeto na tama siya, a warrior. Hindi, hindi mo alam Hindi mo alam ang naklaro o ang ang yung lakbayan eh. Kaya siguro kaya kinokonekta niya sa hope na hindi uh, a warrior never hopes kasi hindi ka palagi parang seemingly yung hope na naghihintay lang sa wala. Parang ganoon siguro kaya kaya parang hindi siya believe sa hope. Well anyway, for the warrior sabi niya the body is as important as the mind because the two are inseparable. No? Ang problema ng iba Oh, dinadalang ang pagiging warrior through skills, through the body. Walang mind, no? Walang walang pag-exercise ng mind or no, oh, yung pag yung tamang pananaw sa sa aspeto ng buhay, you know? A warrior is not an ascetic. He does not deny himself the pleasures of conquest simply for the sake of denying them. No? A, a warrior is a natural leader. No, kasi no, bakit? Kasi natuto na siyang sumunod eh. Kapag ka warrior ka bago ka maging warrior, nagiging estudyante ka muna eh. At dahil estudyante ka natuto kang sumunod. At dahil estudyante ka natuto kang magpasakop. Kaya dahil na marunong ka magpasakop, malaking ka ka pagkakataon na magiging leader ka because true leader, a true leader is a servant. No? Kaya ang ganda ng pagka-example niya kay Alexander the Great, di ba? After nung may mutiny, so nagubad siya, and so pinakita niya yung scars sa kanyang ano, na itong mga dinaanan ko. No? Kaya sabi niya, bring forth a man who had bled, has bled more than me, and we will go home. Kasi gusto na umuwi ng mga, mga sundalo eh. Wala. Kasi nakita nila yung hirap na ginawa ni Alexander, Alexander the Great. No? The warrior is a believer. He believes in miracles. Miracles begin to happen in his life. 
No? A warrior is a highly tuned, is highly tuned to the sense, to sense of danger, but he does not fear. No? Magdadaanan pa po natin yan mamaya. No? But anyway, ito po yung konsepto. And lastly, a warrior fights for one reason. One reason alone. Love. Love of life. Love of what is good. Love of family. Love of, of tribe. Love of our infinite soul on the quest for impeccability. No? Talagang yung konsepto po ng pagmamahal. Ma madadaanan din po natin a little later about about that mamaya sa isa pong video clip. So, dahil sinabi ni Aubrey na ang mga ano mayroong code, no? gayon din po itong si Erwin McManus. No? Meron siyang tinawag niya mga code ito, the code of a warrior. Yan pong pag-aaralan natin, the code of a warrior. And code number one is, the warrior fights only for peace. Ang totoong warrior, hindi nakikipaglaban para lang para talunin ng tao. Nakikipaglaban para maka-attain ng kapayapaan. No? Again, ano? Sabi niya, the warrior is not ready for battle until they have come to know peace. For all the wars that have been waged, you know, from the beginning of time were first born in a person's heart. We have a history of war because our souls are at war. We have conflicts because our hearts are conflicted. Every war, every conflict, every act of violence exists because of our soul's rage. Our only hope for peace is to win the battle within. Kaya ang pakikipaglaban ng isang warrior ang unang-una, yung unang-una niyang talunin yung sa loob. <laughs> sa loobin niya. Yung magkaroon siya ng control dun sa loobin niya na hindi, hindi siya impulsive, basta-basta na out of control, kung ano ma, by impulse or whatever, no? bigla na lang siyang aak. Ano? Every war against another is a war that never should have been fought. It should have been won long before. It should have been won from within. And this is our first battle. The war to end all wars is the battle for the human heart. Yun po yung the way of the warrior is to know peace. Pagka alam natin, natutuhan natin ng kapayapaan, natuto po tayo sa lakbayan po ng isang warrior. Socrates, the Greek philosopher, uh, said, I call myself a peaceful warrior because the battles we fight are on the inside. No? Peaceful warrior siya. Hindi, hindi, hindi siya palaban na inaaway ang mga tao. Kung baga warrior siya ang una niyang kung baga inaatake ay yung sarili niya. In 2006, there was a movie uh, that was um, shown entitled Peaceful Warrior. It's a story of a, a, a young gymnast named Don Millman who later on became an author, lecturer on personal development, you know, former naging world uh, uh, champion athlete siya, a university coach, martial arts instructor, and college professor. Gymnast po siya. No? So, anyway, it's his story about ano yung mga experience niya, kung bakit kung baga naging tagumpay siya, at tinintitle na Peace, Peaceful Warrior, coming from that statement of uh, Socrates. Let's watch. That's it, Danny. Excellent. Melman, you're good. I train seven days a week, 50 weeks out of the year. School's kind of a breeze. I get straight A's. Hey, Dan! Looking good, all right. Thanks, Trev. How can they all be in love with me? I got great friends. I'm in great shape. And I only sleep alone when I absolutely want to. going on with some hard work i'm sure you'll be able to walk again help you with something what the hell did you just do there's a lot you'd have to know before you could understand what you saw mine is just a reflex organ reacts to everything talk to me that ranch I don't know what to do now. Everything has a purpose, even this. And it's up to you to find it. A 
A warrior does not give up what he loves. He finds the love in what he does. I don't think your leg is the only thing that got broken. The doctors have told me you will never compete again. Throw out everything you don't need in here that is keeping you from this moment. You'll be amazed at what you can do. I call myself a peaceful warrior. Because the battles we fight are on the inside. This moment is the only thing that matters. Mine's just a reflex organ. Reacts to everything. Fills your head with millions of random thoughts a day. And none of those thoughts reveal any more about you than a freckle does at the end of your nose. Trash is anything that is keeping you from the only thing that matters. That's the first part of your training. Learning to throw out everything you don't need in here. How? This moment. Here. Now. And when you truly are in the here and now, you'll be amazed at what you can do. Fear. Use the sword. Take it up here and cut the mind of the ribbons. Slash through all those regrets and fears. Anything else that lives in the past or the future. Life is choice. You can choose to be a victim or anything else you'd like to be. Just ignore what happened to me. A warrior acts, only a fool reacts. A warrior does not give up what he loves. He finds the love. It's not about perfection, or victory, or invulnerability. It's about absolute vulnerability. That's the only true courage. And what if I can't do it? That's a future. Thought out. Well, how would we start? There is no starting. No stopping. This moment. Ang ganda po, no? Pinakita ko dalawa, ano, dalawang portion nito. Una, trailer ng Peaceful Warrior. At saka certain motivational concept nitong Peaceful Warrior. Kaya ito yung struggle niya about the, uh, knowing the sense of life. Successful naman siya, pero hindi siya fulfilled. No? Until itong maganda, nagkaroon ng trahedya, na aksidente, at isang yung boss niya, No, biglang nabigyan siya ng pananaw tamang pananaw sa buhay para makapanalo siya sa buhay 
no kaya eh, ang ganda po ng mga concept ito yung binabanggit ko kanina about love a warrior does not give up what he loves he finds the love in what he does kasi di ba parang akala natin pagka warrior ka para bang igigib mong pagmamahal mo dahil naging warrior ka hindi love mo yung pagiging warrior yung ginagawa mo pagiging warrior love mo yun eh oh sabi nung girlfriend niya ni Dan di ba I don't think your leg is the only thing that got broken oh na broken din ng yung spirit kaya parang ayaw mo na throughout everything you don't need here sabi nung kanyang coach yung naging naging yung boss niya naging coach niya na talagang me uh, me philo philosopher's mindset you know he you don't need here no that's keeping you from this moment you'll be amazed of what you can do no kaya kung malaman mo lang ang iyong lakbayin no ang dami mong magagawa nakita nung nitong tao na to something in this guy named Dan no kaya sabi niya i call myself a peaceful warrior because the battles we fight are on the inside. No? Yun po ang konsepto. Kaya, yun ang pakikipaglaban natin eh. In the book of Genesis, ano, we, we see the story of Cain and Abel. Alam natin that God instructed them to uh, sa tamang paraan ng pag-worship uh, pag sa Diyos. And, uh, hindi nagawa ni Cain yung kanyang dapat gawin. Ano? Uh, na pag-alay sa Panginoon no kaya pinatay niya yung kanyang kapatid. Pag doon sa chapter 4 ng Genesis ano from verse 6 to 7 ito nakalagay. Then the Lord said to Cain, "Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? Bakit ka galit na hindi ko tinanggap ang iyong ang iyong offering? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It's, it desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Huh? No, kung, kung tama ang ginawa mo, bakit ka magagalit? Hindi ka dapat magalit. Huh? Kasi kung tama ang ginawa mo, tatanggapin ka. Kaya lang mali ang ginawa. No, bakit? So, sin is crouching at your door. Ang kasalanan ay nandiyan, kumakato o nag-aano sa iyong pintok ng puso mo. Andiyan yun. Kaya, ingat ka. Oh, kaya, kinakailangan marule mo yun. And how will you rule that? Not by your own power. But by receiving the God of peace. Oh, by having the God of peace rule and take over your heart. Kaya, Alam natin nangyari, kaya pinatay ni Cain si Abel. At no, pinalaya siya na Panginoon. Actually, grasya na ng Lord yun na may grasya pa rin ng Panginoon doon sa buhay niya. No? That's why God is a God of peace. We are, we are the ones who brought war to the human story. No? God has been fighting for us so that we might find our way back to peace. No? Peace can come only when it is fought for. In fact, if you choose the way of peace, you will find yourself in a constant struggle and endless battle. That's why we will see, uh, see Job uttered something like this. Job 3 verses 25 and 26. What I feared has come upon me. What I dreaded has happened to me. I have no peace, no quietness. I have no rest, but only turmoil. No? Para bang storya natin lahat yan eh. Kung tayo mismo parang gagawa din ng storya, ng susulat natin, ang ating buhay, parang ganun din tayo kagaya ni Job. It is, it is a struggle all of us do. Yung iba mas grabe pang struggle. No? Peace is an ideal of which we speak but it's something this world has never fully known. Hindi alam ng world. Ang mundo uh, ay is uh, marked by Envy, jealousy, greed, violence, and bloodshed. Yun ang mundo eh. Umiikot ang mundo, marka ng mundo, ganoon eh. Well, there will never be peace on earth until there is peace in us. No, that's why the way of the warrior must begin here. That's where our journey begins. 
the way of the warrior begins with finding the missing piece. And Jesus is the one who will give that. No? Yung panahon ni Jesus, no? uh, in a sense, Jesus as a man, uh, sinulat ni, ni Irwin, was not born free. Actually, slave din siya dahil because of the Roman Empire. Kaya lang, because uh, pagahari ng ano, kaya kumbaga, ang, ang, the Hebrews were in a sense Roman's possession. That's why Jesus as a human was subject to, to Caesar, no, who proclaimed himself a god. Uh, ang ganda pagkasulat niya, no? if Jesus knew freedom, it was not because of his circumstance. If Jesus knew peace, it was in contrast to the chaos that surrounded him. Ang kapayapaan ni Jesus ay hindi dahil, ano kung maga, o oh, ang kalayaan ni Jesus ay hindi dahil malaya sila. Hindi, alipin nga sila eh. Napapangunahan nga sila ng Roman Empire, pero malaya si Jesus. Why? Malaya siya dahil yung kapayapaan, alam niya. Kaya kahit surrounded siya ng kaguluhan, alam niya yung kapayapaan, alam niya yung kalayaan na kanyang nararanasan. Meron ka bang ganun experience? Na, na, na ano mo ba yun? Alam mo ba yun? Naintindihan mo ba yun? Alam mo na experience mo ba yun na sa gitna ng kaguluhan sa iyong buhay, meron kang kapayapaan sa loob. Kaya yung sinasabi ni Erwin eh, Magmanus, the warrior fights only for peace. And itong code na to, no, kumbaga ethos na to, merong mga ilang bagay po ating titingnan dito. Number one, the war within. Uh, John 14, 27, Jesus said, Peace, I live with you. My peace, I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Your heart must not be troubled or fearful. No? You with simplicity and wisdom, no, pinakita ni Jesus dito, ano yung mga bagay na numanakaw sa ating kapayapaan? Probably the two greatest enemies of peace uh, are, number one, uh, the war within, ang, ang nagnanakaw ng, ng kapayapaan natin, worry. No? Sinulat ni Erwin, all around me I find trouble hearts, men and women drowning in worry. Whether we use the language of stress or anxiety or find ourselves in the depths of depression or despair, worry is the source of so much of our heart's troubles. Worry projects a negative view of the world around us. No? Mali, negatibo. Worry projects a negative future. Worry is, is an act in a sense of faith. Anong faith? It is a deep-seated belief in a worst-case scenarios. Huh? May pananampalataya din ang, ang worry kaya lang yung pananampalataya niya, pananampalataya na masama ang mangyayari. Worry is not rooted in reality but does affect our reality. Huh? Yun ang konsepto ng worry. Huh? Hindi real siya kaya lang, pero yung reality na pektuhan eh. Hindi naman katotohanan, giisip siya, negatibong pag-iisip ng isang tao, kaya siyang worry ng worry, no, natataranta siya, nababagabag ang puso niya dahil sa worry, no, dahil iniisip na niya yung masamang mangyayari. Kaya nga, worst case scenarios. Julius Caesar, no, the Roman general who became an emperor, said, as a rule, men worry more about what they cannot, they cannot see than about what they can. Naaabala tayo doon sa mga bagay na hindi natin nakikita kesa yung nakikita natin. No? Inaabala natin ang sarili natin doon sa mga hindi natin nakikita o hindi natin alam o baka lang na mangyari. Kaya sabi ni Paul o pagkasulat ni Paul Philippians 4.6, Be anxious for nothing. No? Parang irony nga ito, sabi ni sinot ni ano ni Erwin. No? I, I found irony in the words of Paul. I know that what he means is that we should not allow anything to make us anxious. But the truth is that it is usually nothing that is making us anxious. No? Na, 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 ang ganda ng play on words ni Erwin. Ano? No? Huwag mong allow kahit ano Oh, para maging anxious ka. 
Kaya lang minsan yung nothing ang nagpapa-anxious sa atin. Bakit ka na bahala? Uh, ewan ko, basta wala. Nabahala ako. No? Look at this. No? Sinulat ni Erwin, Our anxiety, our distress, our worry, when stripped to its very essence, is rooted in nothing. Or at least, in nothing we can control. Hindi mo kasi makontrol, kaya ka nag-worry. Hindi mo mahawakan, kaya ka nag-worry. Iniisip mo, no, magiging pinakamasama ang mangyayari, kaya ka nag-worry. Kaya continuing, ano solution ni Paul? No? Verses 6 and 7, But in everything by prayer, and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all comprehension will guard excuse me your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus kaya ka na worry na hati ang iyong ano eh iyong utak na hati ka worry uh, makes your mind divided it's a divided heart and a divided mind Kaya dito, yung kapayapaan ng Diyos, no, makakapanumbalik sa iyo, manalangin, huwag kang matakot, kung baga huwag kang maabala sa mga pwedeng mangyari. Hindi mo alam kung mangyayari ba yan o hindi. Padalasan nga daw, ang mga winuwari natin, hindi naman nangyari. No? Pinahirapan lang natin ang sarili natin sa pag ng mga bagay na hindi naman nangyari. Pero worry pa rin tayo ng worry sa baka mangyari. Huh? And so Paul is telling us that anxiety comes when we try to control things that are out of control. We become anxious because we haven't learned to trust. Hindi natin ma-let go sa Diyos eh. Henry Ford, the American ano, uh, entrepreneur, ano, businessman, wrote, I believe God is managing affairs. And that he doesn't need any advice from me. With God in charge, I believe everything will work out for the best in the end. So, what is there to worry about? Huh? God is managing the affairs. That's why even in this pandemic, even in this COVID-19, God is still managing the affairs. No, We need to trust God. In the midst of this pandemic, God is still manages, managing things. And under control pa rin ng Panginoon. Awak pa rin niya, alam pa rin ng Diyos ang kanyang ginagawa. No? no matter how long, we don't know how long this will take, but we can continue to trust. We continue to depend upon God. Lord, hawak mo eh. Kung hawak mo, oh, nampapay nga ako sa'yo. Okay. Oh. Let's look at another video clip, this time by Alan Watts. Uh, he was sharing about the concept of the mind. Ano, pagka uh, related to worry, kapag uh, patuloy-patuloy natin, ginag ay na anong isip natin sa pag worry makita natin ang tawag niya, we are in the grip of vicious circles or vicious cycles. Let's watch. So then let's consider first of all, what is a mind in the grip of vicious circles? Well, one of the most obvious instances that we all know is the phenomenon of worry. The doctor tells you that you have to have an operation. And that has been set up so that automatically everybody worries about it. But since Worrying takes away your appetite and your sleep. It's not good for you. But you can't stop worrying, and therefore you get additionally worried that you are worrying. And then, furthermore, because that is quite absurd, and you're mad at yourself because you do it, you are worried because you worry because you worry. That is a vicious circle. So now, can you allow your mind to be quiet? Isn't it difficult? Because the mind seems to be like a monkey, 
jumping up and down and jabbering all the time. Once you've learned to think, you can't stop. And an enormous number of people devote their lives to keeping their minds busy and feel extremely uncomfortable with silence. When you're alone, nobody's saying anything, there's nothing to do. There's this, this worry, this uh, lack of distraction. I'm left alone with myself and I want to get away from myself. I'm always wanting to get away from myself. That's why I go to the movies, that's why I read mystery stories, that's why I go after to girls or anything that you do or get drunk or whatever. I don't want to be with myself. I feel queer. So, well, why do you want to run away from yourself? What's so bad about it? Why do you want to forget this? Why do you want to become yourself? Because you are addicted to thoughts. This is a drug, a real dangerous one. Compulsive thinking going on and on and on and on and on all the time. It's a habit. So there's a difficulty about stopping that activity. And you really have to stop it if you want to be sane. Because if I talk all the time, I don't hear what anyone else has to say. Then I'll end up in the situation of having nothing to talk about but my own talking. Or so in exactly the same way, if I think all the time, I won't have anything to think about except thoughts. So in order to have something to think about, there are times when you simply must stop thinking. Well, how do you do that? The first rule is don't try to. Because if you do, you will be like someone trying to make rough water smooth with a flat iron. And all that will do will stir it up. So in the same way as a muddy, turbulent pool quiets itself when left alone, you have to know how to leave your mind alone. It will quiet itself. Ganda ng mga concept ni Alan Watts. No, sabi niya, one of the most obvious instances that we all know is the phenomenon of worry. It's a worry going on and on. No, you are you you get additionally worried that you are worrying. You are worried because you worry, because you worry, and that is a vicious cycle. Nag-worry ka uh, dahil nag-worry ka. At dahil nag-worry ka, lalo ka na naman mag-worry. Kaya, vicious cycle. An enormous number of people devote their lives to keeping their minds busy and feel extremely uncomfortable with silence. Kaya sabi niya, tahimik ka lang. Uh, uh, you just... Sige lang, settle down, settle down. Huh? Let it settle. Let your mind quiet by itself. Uh, and so, makita mo, no? it is interesting that in another place, ano, kanina nakot na natin si Jesus, He speaks of peace, He brings up trouble again. Huh? John 16.33 I have told you this thing so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. No? At first, yung una, kanina sabi niya, let not your hearts be troubled. No? Kaya lang, at this point, sinasabi niya, in this world you will have trouble. No? Kung baga, wag mong hayaan ang puso mo mabagabag. Ah, dahil paglabas mo sa mundo, ang mundo bagabag, mitrobol. Na? Ah, ano bang concept nito? Erwin wrote, ano, we have no control over the reality that is in this world, we will have trouble, but we have control over whether we decide to allow our hearts to be troubled. Yun naman eh. Hindi andiyan nang trouble. Ang ang ano ay hahayaan mo ba ang puso mo matrobol? Mabagabag sa sitwasyon sa nangyayari. Hahayaan mo ba ang pag-iisip mo mahati-hati? No? Crumbling to the weight of anxiety, drowning in the weight of pressure. Kumbaga, Billy Graham wrote, 
Anxiety is the natural result when our hopes are centered on anything short of God and His will for us. Pag kinapustaya ng pagtiwala sa Diyos at uh, uh, luwakbay sa kalooban ng Diyos, sigurado kakaroon tayo anxiety. J.C. Penney, coming from a long line of Baptist preachers, grew up with deep convictions. He was unwaveringly honest. No, he, uh, he, he was a hard worker. But one time in 1929, when the Great Depression hit, Penny found himself in crisis. He had made an unwise commitment, you know, and they turned sour. So, nagkamali siya. So, J.C. Penny began to worry about them. And soon he was unable to sleep. Diba? Yun naman ang kadugtong eh. Nag-worry ka, hindi ka na makatulog. And then he developed a painful case of shingles. Ito shingles is a disease caused by pain and red marks on the skin. Parang nagkakaroon ng pantal-pantal ka dyan sa path ng nerve mo. And so dahil doon, oh, na-hospital siya. His anxiety only increased in the hospital. No? And it seemed resistant to tranquilizers and drugs. Eh dahil hindi siya gumagaling, eh di lalo siya nag-worry, lalong nagde-deteriorate siya. His mental state deteriorated until, itong sabi niya, I was broken nervously and physically filled with despair, unable to see even a ray of hope. I had nothing to live for. I felt I haven't had a friend left in the world that even my family turned against me. Well, notice, yun ang essence ng, ano eh, ng anxiety. Kapag ka na-anxious ka, nag-worry ka, pati yung kapamilya mo, yung mga mahal mo sa buhay, mga kaibigan mo na tumutulong sa'yo, akala mo kaaway mo na rin. No? One night, he was so oppressed, he didn't think his heart would hold out. And expecting to die before morning, he sat down and wrote a farewell letters to his wife and sons. Businessman siya. No? Parang, parang nagmamayari ito ng mga department stores. And so, nabagabag, worry na to, grabbing effect sa kanya. But he did live through the night. And the next morning, he heard singing coming from the hospital chapel. Na, ang napakinggan niya ng words ganito, Be not dismayed, whatever bet tied you, God will take care of you. Huwag kang mabagabag kung ano man ang dinadaan mo, pangangalagaan ka ng Diyos. So, nung marinig niya yung pumasok siya sa chapel, at na, narinig niya patuloy yung kanta at may binasa na scripture at nagkaroon ng prayer. Pagkatapos nun sa itong sabi niya, suddenly something happened. I cannot explain it. I can only call it a miracle. I felt as if I had been instantly lifted up uh, out of the darkness of a dungeon into warm, brilliant light. Parang bigla ako nakalaya. All worry left him as he realized more fully than he had ever imagined just how much the Lord Jesus Christ cared for him. And from that day, J.C. Penney was never plagued with worry. And he later called those moments in, in the chapel the most dramatic and glorious 20 minutes of my life. No? Kayo po ba? Ano ba ang experience niya sa inyong buhay? No? Kayo ba yung mabagabag? Kayo ba'y dumadaan sa matinding sitwasyon sa inyong buhay? No? We need to learn to overcome yung, yung mga bagay na yan sa ating buhay. No? Kinakailangan natin matagumpayanan yung mga bagay na yan. Okay? So, let me give you another video clip by, by Troy Black, Black rather, Overcoming Anxiety as a Christian. Parang maganda mga statements siya dito. Let's watch. Did you know that anxiety can come from simply having the wrong expectations? Well, if that's true, then what are the right expectations? Here's a simple answer. God's expectations. Okay, then what are God's expectations? Here's another simple answer. Perfection. So how do you arrive at perfection? You can't. The good news is that Jesus Christ offered you His own perfection on the cross. Romans 5.1 says, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So how does that help us deal with anxiety? Once you have peace with God, you get to have peace about everything else. Why? 
because of promises like the one found in Isaiah 51:12, where God says, I, even I, am he who comforts you. Who are you that you are afraid of man who dies and of the son of man who is made like grass? Why is peace with God so great? Because no matter what is causing your anxiety, when you have peace with God, He is your comforter. He is your solution. You need money? He's your provider. You need energy? He's your strength. You need healing? He is your healer. You're looking for direction? He is your counselor. Then how do we receive these things from God? When we have peace with God, the Holy Spirit is able to dwell in us and He transforms our hearts. He gives us hearts that are seeking after God and His ways. And when we follow the ways of the Lord, we're gonna have the perspective of the Lord as well. I want you to think about something for a second. What if the disciples started writing the accounts of Jesus being on earth before Jesus was resurrected? What if they sat down the day after Jesus' death and started writing the Gospels? It would have been a depressing story. The story would have been told from man's limited perspective. They were scared and they were disappointed. They thought that God had made a mistake, that maybe God didn't see it coming. But God had the better perspective and the bigger picture in mind, life and redemption. Some of us are trying to write the story of our lives but we haven't gotten a hold of God's point of view yet. We're not looking at things from His perspective. We've yet to understand His plan, His sovereignty, and His power. God has a bigger picture in mind for your life. If you're dealing with anxiety that's based on your perspective, you can start to look at things from His perspective today. How do we learn to see things from the point of view of other people in our lives? It's easy. We spend time with them and we get to know them more. The same way we learn to view life from God's perspective by spending time with God. We get it straight from Jesus. And that is why it's so critical for us as believers to spend time with Him. We have peace with God when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, but we experience the peace of God in our lives and situations when we abide in Him, walking in His presence. John 14, 27 says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. Cory Ten Boom wrote, Worry does not empty tomorrow of its sorrow, it empties today of its strength. There's a second war within, no? Na talakay natin, trouble, and second fear. Uh, McManus continued, uh, Do not be afraid, Jesus said. If worry wars against our peace, fear is perhaps an even greater foe. When we live our lives afraid, it creates turmoil and chaos within us. Uh, look at what he wrote. Fear is the enemy of peace. While worry will rob our joy, fear will steal our freedom. For what we fear establishes the boundaries of our freedom. What we fear has mastery over our souls. When we are anxious, we lose our strength. When we are afraid, we lose our courage. When we have found peace, we have both the strength and courage to live the lives we were created to live. And then, Erwin McManus shared uh, two illustrations in his life. Uh, even in my own life, I see the relationship between worry, anxiety, and the inability to control the world, or, uh, world around me. Throughout my life, I have had a fear of dogs. Takot daw siya sa mga, sa mga aso. Even to this day, I still jump when a dog moves in my direction, even though I love dogs. The root of this fear is not undiagnosable for me. Alam niya kung bakit siya nagkaroon ng takot. When I was around 5 years old, I saw my brother getting bitten, get bitten by a dog. It would have been either one of us, but as life would have it, he was the one the dog targeted. Oddly enough, my brother who was actually bitten by the dog never developed any fear of dogs whatsoever. Yung kapatid niya na nakagat siya, pang, siya pang wala takot sa aso. My fear and anxiety were rooted in what could have happened and not in the reality of what did happen. 
It was as if for the rest of my life, I kept uh, waiting for what I feared to happen, even though to this day, I have never been bitten by a dog. Diba? Ganun ng fear, ganun ng worry eh. Yung hindi nangyari sa'yo, misan parang hinahantay mo na mangyari. Oh? Para bang, uh, para bang kaya ka abala, ano, fear and worry, uh, no, mag, nagkakasama dahil abala ka na baka mangyari. So, misan parang hinahantay mo na mangyari. Ayaw mo mangyari, takot ka mangyari, pero parang hinahantay mo mangyari. Ganun na nangyari kay, kay Erwin. No? Horace, a Roman lyric poet, wrote, He, who, rather, who lives in fear will never be a free man. Yun ang sinasabi niya, ang fear, kinukuha yung iyong kalayaan. Ano yung pangalawang fear ni, ni Erwin? For years, I was afraid of roller coasters. Again, it was not rooted in something irrational. When I was around 10 years old, the seat belt broke while I was riding a roller coaster and I held on for my life. Uh, I remember screaming my guts out trying to get uh, the operator's attention but he was too busy smoking to notice. I was never thrown out of the roller as I managed to hold on until it finally came to a stop. But out of that negative experience, an enduring fear took over. I spent years watching other people ride roller coasters. But that's exactly what fear and anxiety do to you. They put you on the sideline watching life happen. Diba? Pag natakot ka na, na-anxious ka na, hindi ka nakikilos, pinagmamasdan mo na lang mga tao, sila may ginagawa, ikaw wala. I couldn't control the variables if I got into the roller coaster, so I stayed on solid ground to give me a sense of control. It was years later when I finally determined to overcome that fear. Without fully understanding the complex nature of fear and anxiety, I knew what I had to do was to get on a roller coaster. So, sumakay siya. Di, siyempre, yun, yung mga ano na yun, siyempre, nakaka-ano sa, di ba, sa sekmura yun eh. Pero, sigla, dinaanan niya. Ngayon, gusto na niya. Yung roller coaster. No? Kahit kung mag, uh, parang, Parang misa nakakatakot naman talaga. Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, Do the thing you fear, and the death of fear is certain. No, sabi ni, sulat ni Erwin, Every fear feels justified. Kaya kinakailangan mo i-overcome. Eh. Kinakailangan mong tagumpayanan eh. Ang fear. Para bang, para bang one time, uh, meron pong hmm, ano, magdanakaw. Uh, uh, na dumating po sa isang bahay. Eh, tama-tama po, gising po yung lalaki. At nung nakita niya magnanakaw, uh, sabi niya, halika, halika! Hindi niya, pina, hindi niya tinaboy, ha? Halika, halika! Pakikilala ka sa, sa asawa ko. Nagulat yung mag... Bakit o? Kasi araw-araw, inaabangan ka ng, ng asawa ko. Araw-araw, inaabangan niya. Baka mayroong magnanakaw na darating. Kaya since dumating ka na, kaya ipapakilala kita. Di ba? Parang ganun eh. Yung, yung, yung fear na akala mo mananakawang ka, baka bigla may magnakaw na kaya hindi ka makatulong. Fear and anxiety make you sleepless. Di ba? Pero wala ka namang kontrol doon sa mga bagay na yun eh. Na peace does not come because you finally have control over your life. Peace comes when you no longer need control. Hindi mo na kailangan kontrolin. Kaya mawala ang anxiety and fear. Max Lucado beautifully combined this, ano? Anxiety and fear are cousins. Twins. Uh, are, uh, sabi niya, anxiety and, and fear, rather, are cousins but twins. Fear sees a threat. Anxiety imagines one. to magpinsan ang anxiety at saka ang fear. No? Meron pong uh, kwento about isang lugar po, ang tao nila, Lee Health, is a physical, uh, meron pong physical therapist doon, si Natalie, na tinatawag po ng yung fear of falling. Meron po mga tao kasi na lalo na siguro pagka may edad, pagka yung natatakot sila, babaksak sila, normally minsan anangyari, lalo sila bumabaksak, lalo sila nadadapa. 
panoorin po natin yung pag-aaral nila nitong ano, fear of falling. A fall can cause devastating and long-lasting injuries, but physical therapist Natalie Grondin says the fear of falling can also be detrimental to a person's health. A high fear of falling becomes a, a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's known that uh, a high level of fear of falling can actually cause a fall. Which is why it's important to address a patient's level of fear. There could be multiple reasons why a person has a fear of falling, and we have to distinguish whether or not they have a high level of concern or a fear. When a fear of falling becomes irrational, patients often start to limit their activities. We have to face it. We have to tackle it together. Using balanced screenings, questionnaires, and special testing, physical therapists are able to determine a person's risk for falling. If they are at risk for having a fall, they may benefit from physical therapy. We will practice that very activity that causes a problem, but we will uh, downgrade the level of difficulty for the activity. Addressing triggers and balance concerns, physical therapists can recommend exercises to help improve a patient's confidence. Our goal is to catch them early and uh, show them that they can, they can do better. Keeping them active and eliminating their fear of falling. For Lee Health, I'm Lindsay Morton. Ang sabi nung Natalie, a high fear of falling becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's known that a high level of fear of falling can actually cause a fall. Kaya yung mga pasyente, yung mga tao na natatakot, the more na natakot sila, the most, more likely na mangyayari sa kanila yon. Kaya po, no, kaya tinuturuan nila yung mga tao kung paano lumakad, dumakyat, na ma-overcome nila itong fear na ito, the fear of falling. No? So nakita po natin na code na ito, the warrior fights only for peace. No? Nakita natin una, the war within, but secondly, the strength of peace. The warrior's strength is their peace. No? Ang kapayapaan ng isang warrior, yun ang kanyang lakas. Kasi hindi, wala siyang takot na eh. Hindi siya na-anxious na. Kaya ando doon ang kanyang kalakasan. No, Jesus did not come to conquer kingdoms and nations. He came to conquer hearts and minds. Kaya nga, di ba, ang, ang word na, peer sa, uh, na, na peace rather sa Hebrew ay shalom. Di ba, kadalasan ito, basically, it's a form of greeting ng mga, ng mga Easterners. Parang compare dyan sa goodbye. Ang goodbye, is, uh, ang root phrase ng goodbye is God be with you. Kaya goodbye, yun ang ibig sabihin ng goodbye. God be with you. Sa atin, di ba, goodbye, ingat ka, no? parang ano, ano, ang mga Pilipino kakaiba eh, no? na bye-bye, no? ingat kayo ha. Hindi, yung ibig sabihin ng goodbye, no? ang, nawa ang Diyos kasama, kasama mo. So, look at this, shalom is a greeting with deep implications. No? Hindi lang siya peace. No? Pag tinignan mo sa Wikipedia, ito ang lalabas. No? The word extends beyond meaning peace to meaning harmony, wholeness, completeness, prosperity, welfare, and tranquility. Kaya to experience shalom is to find wholeness, kabuuan. When we find peace, we are made whole. Uh, the concept of shalom assumes that the original intention of God is for all things to be interconnected. Kaya may relationship, may harmony. That's why, di ba, you will notice, yan na sulat ni, ni Erwin, the clearest evidence that we lack peace is that we all uh, sense a tearing between us, a separation that divide us, divides us from God, from our true selves, from others, and yes, even from creation. Diba? Alam mong wala, wala yung kapayapaan kasi, diba? Hindi kayo ayos ng ibang tao eh. May problema ka sa ibang tao eh. O may problema tao sa ibang tao sa iyo eh. Sila rin may problema sa kapayapaan eh. Diba? Una, hiwalay tayo sa Diyos. We are at war with God. No? Dahil hindi, wala tayong peace dyan. No? Kaya ang dalas natin may digmaan kaya tayo Maraming kaaway, kagalit. Di ba? Kaya it's not about gifting, it's not about talents, it's about maraming tao, galing sana kaya lang. 
Lagi maraming kaaway. Di ba? Yan ang problema natin eh. Yung, kaya alam natin may problema tayo sa kapayapaan, hindi whole. Kasi, di ba, ang dami natin katalo. The evidence that peace is missing is the is the break between us and God, the violence of brother against brother. No? Kaya, relationship eh. Where there is peace, all these relationships are made right and everything is made whole. No? A Chinese proverb would read, if there is righteousness in the heart, there is there will be beauty in the character. If there is beauty in the character, there will be harmony in the home. If there is harmony in the home, there will be order in the nation. If there will there is order in the nation, there will be peace in the world. Kaya peace starts within. Now within us. Mga kapag ka, hindi natin nakuha yung peace na yun, kakaproblema problema tayo. No? When our hearts have not found peace, we, have, we become filled with the darkest expressions of ourselves. We are filled not only with fear and doubt, but also greed, envy, anger, bitterness, loneliness, disconnection, despair, hopelessness. Now look at what Erwin wrote. We struggle with envy because we want the life that isn't ours. No? We struggle with greed because we want to possess what is not ours to have. We struggle with feelings of insignificance because we have made our worth dependent on the opinions of others. We struggle with identity because we don't know who we are outside of what we do. We struggle with loneliness because we are searching for love rather than giving it. So, gabing epekto ng, ng ano, pag nawala ang kapayapaan. Gabing epekto sa buhay natin, di ba? Hindi lang yung doubt and fear ang na lumalabas. Envy, greed, hopelessness, di ba? Insignificance, loneliness, di ba? Ang grabe. We will never know peace as long as we are slaves to external forces of the world and and create our identities from the outside in. We will never know peace if we lose the present because we are trapped in the past and paralyzed by the future. Diba? Kaya ka worry eh. Trapped by the past, no? paralyzed by the future. But we need to live in the present. Depression is rooted in your past. Anxiety is rooted in your imagined future. Depression is how your soul process regret. Anxiety is how your soul process fear. Depression traps you in your worst and most main painful memories. Anxiety imagines your worst and most painful future. Grabe, no? pinaghambing niya yung depression and anxiety. That's why you lose your present because we hide from our past and we run from our future. Ganun palagi, ganun na mangyayari. Because depression and anxiety convince you that the past is your future and so the future must be avoided at all cost. No, kasi yung past mo, future na rin kaagad eh. No, kaya our life uh, was intended for us to fully uh, enjoy the present, the moment, the now. No, only the present will free you from the past. Only the present will free you to your future. That's why Isaiah wrote, uh, 26 verse 3, You will keep the mind that is dependent on you in perfect peace, for it is trusting in you. Kaya, ang, ang, ang pag-isip ay puno ng kapayapaan dahil sa pagtitiwala sa Diyos. Napapayapa ang puso. Napapayapa ang pag-iisip. No, Lucius Aeneas Seneca wrote, No sleep can be tranquil unless the mind is at rest. Di ba? Bakit ka hindi makatulog? Kasi dami mong iniisip eh. Ang dami mong kinakaabalahan. Ang dami mong takot sa buhay. 
Handa na mong iniisip ng baka ito mangyari, baka ito mangyari. Kaya hindi mo nakuha ang kapayapaan. To end, ano, uh, putuli muna natin. I'd like to show you a video clip of um, Finding Peace no, ng isang artist, ang pangalan niya si Namandi. Let's watch the video. This one time, I was at a show, and, and this guy came, and he looked at my work, and he said to me, Oh man, I almost feel like falling on my knees and praying. And I knew that it came from deep within him. I sculpt because I feel like this is what I was put here to do. Without my brother, I would not be an artist today. He was the one that provided the financial backing for me to come to this country. My brother died in an accident. My first year in America, he was only about two years younger than me. He devastated me on so many levels, you know. It's been 20 years, man. There's so many nights, you know, that I'll, I'll think, remove me from this uh, valley of sorrow. I did not think that there was any way that I could forgive the person that killed my brother. So I asked God, I said, please, I want to do this, but I can do it. Help me to do it. And I got down on my knees and I, as I was praying. It felt like someone poured cold water on my head and it washed all the way down to my feet. When I got up, I did not have any feeling but of love for this person. I couldn't hold any terrible feelings, you know, for him. I completely forgive him. Notice, si Namandi was a very good artist. Ang grabe ng sculpture na ginagawa niya. No? Kakaiba na concept niya. No? He was devastated when his brother died. And he couldn't think uh, he could forgive the man who killed him. No, para bang hindi niya mapapatawad yung tao na yun eh. Kaya, di ba, magaling ka, pero devastated ka. Salamat, no, nakuha niya Jesus. That through Jesus, he found that he could forgive. No? Kayo rin, ako rin, ganun. Ano nagpabagabag sa puso mo? Ano ang nagahati sa iyong pananaw? Wala ka bang kapayapaan? Wala, nagwuri ka ba? Marami ka bang takot sa buhay? Uh, write down. So we can probably pray for you. So kaya, ito no, just to recap, no, makita natin, ito, the warrior fights only for peace yan ng cold, number one. Dalawa, so far nakita natin dito, the war within and the strength of peace. Ang kalakasan ng, ng kapayapaan ay nandun doon sa loob. Pero lahat ito nagsisimula no, sa pagkilala sa Panginoong Yesus, sa pagkilala sa Diyos na mang, siyang manguna sa ating buhay. Yung inner peace ang kailangan natin. We are at war with God. So we need to be at peace with God. And then later on, we will also receive the peace of God. Nawa na matutukan natin initially itong mga bagay na ito sa ating buhay. So, no matter what we're experiencing today, I hope na mapayapa ang inyong puso no, na nagtitiwala tayo sa Diyos. Kaya yung ating takot, ng maraming takot sa atin sa kapanakunan ngayon. Siyempre, hindi ko sinasabi na na mag tayo mag-ingat, maging reckless tayo sa ating pakikitungo sa mga tao. Kaya sinasabi ng, ng gobyerno, oh, mag-quarantine kayo, mag-lockdown kayo, oh, wag, wag mo nang lalabas kung hindi talaga, kung di talaga kailangan. No? Hindi ibig sabihin na hindi, wala akong takot, kaya gagawin din. Huwag tayo maging reckless. No? Ang, ang maayos na tao, hindi reckless sa kanyang buhay. No? 
tama ang kanyang pananaw no susunod siya sa kaparaanan ng 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 ating ng gobyerno yan ang sinasabi so kaya nag-iingat pero no, yung mga maraming bagay sa ating buhay na kinakailangan nating kapayapaan ng Lord para hindi nakawin ng worry at ng fear ang ating kapayapaan manalangin po tayo Panginoon Diyos, maraming salamat na sa pag-aaral na ito, O Lord God, may mga maraming bagay na naman kami na matututuhan at maia-apply sa aming buhay. Maraming, O Lord God, mga pwedeng katakutan sa panahong ito. Maraming pwedeng, O Lord God, ikabalaka or i-worry namin sa situation ngayon, O Lord God. Salamat sa pagpapaalala na pwede ka namin pagkatiwalaan ng kapayapaan na inaalok ni Jesus, ng kapayapaan na nag-aalis ng takot, nag-aalis ng worry. Salamat na ikaw, Panginoong Jesus, ang kapayapaan. Ikaw ang prinsipe ng kapayapaan na kung kami ay nagpapasakop sa iyo bilang prinsipe ng aming buhay, Diyos ng aming buhay, hari ng aming buhay, Lord God, matatamasa namin ang kapayapaan na iyong kalong. Lord, sa lahat ng mga dumadaan sa, sa mga patuloy na pagsubok, maraming mga negosyo, nagsasara, maraming mahihirapan sa kanilang trabaho, ang ekonomiya, Panginoon, apekto ka, marami pa rin, oh Lord, threat ng, oh Lord God, ng, ng infection, hindi pa rin kami ligtas, Panginoon. Lord, tulungan mo lang kami, patuloy na umasa, humawak sa iyo. Magtiwala sa iyo, Lord God, na pangangalagaan mo lamang kami sa kapanahonang ito. Bigyan mo ng patuloy na karunungan ang aming gobyerno sa, Lord, pagbabalanse ng, ng nais na mapaangat kahit papanong ekonomiya pa rin. At magpatuloy, O Lord God, ang, ang mga negosyo. Subalit, Lord God, nag-iingat at the same time. Salamat, Panginoon, O Lord God. Bagamat, O Lord, marami na apekto nga ni ko pa rin ng Diyos na pwedeng magpala sa mga taong na apekto ka ng, ng pandemic na ito, O Lord God. Salamat, May, pagkakatiwala namin ang aming buhay, ang aming pamilya, ang aming sarili sa iyong kamay. Lord, you will, Lord God, guard our hearts in perfect peace because we trust in you. Salamat, Lord God, pagtitiwalaan ka namin, paniniwalaan namin ang iyong salita, Lord God, na iyong ibinahagi sa bawat isa sa amin. Lord, muli, salamat na sa gitna ng mga kahirapan, Lord God, meron pa rin kami pagkakataon, mga pagbigay, pag-share ng aming tithes, ng aming offerings, Lord God. At pwede pa rin kami makatulong sa ibang tao, sa gitna ng, Lord God, ng kanilang pangangailangan, matulungan namin sila. Habang kami rin mismo, O Lord God, ay mayroong sarili-sarili struggles. Salamat, Panginoon. Muli kami nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng gagawin mo pa sa mga succeeding times ng mga men- mensay pang kami mapapakinggan. Nawa, O Lord God, na, na Lord God, tanggapin namin ito na may pananapalataya. Salamat, Lord. Muli binabalik sa iyo lahat ng papuri, pagdakila at pagsamba sa pangalan lang ni Jesus. Amen at Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsama sa ating streaming ngayon. Muli po pinapaalalahan ako kayo, follow and like us. Ano? Click that button ng follow and like us uh, sa ating Facebook uh, page. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel kung hindi pa ako kayo nakasubscribe para mabalikan nyo ang ating mga, mga ibang pa- pinag-aralan. At sumulat po kayo, no? write a post ano, sa atin po about anything you need, mga concerns po, maipapanalangin po namin kayo. At mga, ano pong mga kwento po ng inyong tagumpay na gusto po namin ma- ma- mabasa. So, salamat po sa bawat isa na, ano, na nakiling ngayon, nawa, na kayo po'y aalagaan at gagabayan ng Panginoon sa inyong lakbayin dito sa linggo na ito. Maraming salamat po.